Entermen, the FBI and local police agencies are still at the school right now talking to students and staff hoping to get answers. Matt Musa was live near the school in Parkland. This is heartbreaking we know, Matt. Yes, it is, Len and me. Of course, photographer Bob Luna and I were at West Palm Beach covering spring training for the Astros when we got the call to come down here. We've spoken with a number of students, parents, former students. They are all in shock. Let me just tell you this. We just spoke with a former student, Aletza Medick. She actually walked down the hall with the accused shooter, Nicholas Cruz, after she heard shots fired. She said, hey, Nicholas, this is what she told me on camera. We will have it for our 10 o'clock show. She said, hey, I just heard shots fired. I'm surprised it wasn't you. Just kidding like that. And he had this reaction, what? And then they parted ways. She said, I heard more shots after that. She thinks there was a second shooter. That's the first we've heard of that, but she believes there was actually a second shooter. We'll see if that uh, comes about or not again. Authorities still inside searching. Now, more on, on uh, Nicholas Cruz. I spoke with a number of students, like I said, one of those was Adam Habona, a sophomore here at the high school, used to be a neighbor to Nicholas Cruz. Here's part of our conversation. So everyone started saying it was Nicholas Cruz. I was not surprised. It really wasn't. I'd see him sometimes and he was never doing, like one time he stole something out of um, my neighbor's garage. The other time he was throwing coconuts at the houses. He's just not a good kid. How do you go back to school now? I don't know if I can. I really don't. That image is not going to be able to leave my head. It's horrific. It's really horrific. Seeing two children, what, 15 or 16 years old, <laughs> laying down like that, it's insane. There's no way to, to, to describe it. Adam told me he was on a first floor classroom. A young girl ripped open the door and dove into his classroom. He said, I saw a bullet hole in her leg. She was bleeding profusely. Someone put a tourniquet on her. He hopes that she's all right. We hope, of course, that she is. Again, a lot of questions about Nicholas Cruz and what we do know are the students that knew him had a lot of question marks about him. He seemed like a troubled student. And uh, at some point, authorities hopefully will find out exactly the motive behind this horrendous day here in Parkland, Florida. Matt Guys. Musil, it is simply heartbreaking. Our prayers are with those students, staff, and their families. Thanks so much.